Do you need to set up a Cisco router or a Cisco switch? Let's get started by connecting the console, the wide area network, and the local area network. We will even configure VLANs. First, let's connect the console to the Cisco router. Note, Cisco Blue indicates the console connection. You can use either a mini USB cable connection from the router to your PC or an RJ45 to USB-A adapter. This requires a USB to serial driver on your PC. After connecting, open PuTTY or TerraTerm. Set the baud rate to 9600 and you're ready to access the router CLI. Next, let's hook up the wide area network. Connect your ISP or upstream network to Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. This will be your external facing interface. Now, connect the local area network. Use Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 to connect to your local network or switch. Next, let's configure VLANs on the Cisco router. We'll create VLAN 10 for data and VLAN 20 for VoIP. Okay, now let's change gears and set up the Cisco switch. For the Cisco switch, use the same RJ45 to USB, a console cable, or mini USB cable. Once connected, open PuTTY or TerraTerm and access the switch CLI at 9600 baud rate. Next, Let's connect the LAN and any additional devices. For the Cisco switch, simply connect to any of the Gigabit Ethernet ports to extend your local network. To create VLANs on the Cisco switch, use the same process. This shows how you can configure VLAN 10 for data and VLAN 20 for VoIP. And that's it. Whether you're working with a Cisco router or a Cisco switch, you're all set for a smooth setup.